unknown means something I don't know, what I'm looking for. And for the first number, it says perimeter. I'm looking at perimeter equals 28 centimeters. So I'm looking at this problem, I'm thinking I'm trying to solve for m. But they already gave me that the perimeter is 28 centimeters, so I'm going to put that in the center. Knowing perimeter is 28 centimeters, and perimeter is the inside or the outside? It's going to be the outside. The perimeter playground is on the outside. So when I start doing this, I look at the numbers that I do know. I have 6 and 6, because opposite sides are equal, mm -hmm. so they're the same. So I'm going to do 6 plus 6, and I'm going to do, do it vertical, not horizontal. 6 plus 6 is 12. So that's my first step. But I know my perimeter is 28, so then I get 28, and I'm going to decide, I'm going to subtract the two sides I already do know. So 8 minus 2, 2 minus 8 is 6, 1 minus 2 is 1. So now I have 16. Now I'm still not done. Because I have 16, but I know I have two sides that I'm trying to look for. So I'm looking for two sides. My next step is going to be 16. Good job. 16 divided by 2. 2 because I have two sides. When you divide by 16, it can be counting by 2's, or I can know mentally 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now when I get 8, I know m is equal to 8. Now if I want to check it, I can also check it. But right now it says I only want to know the, what the letter or the value of m is, which is going to be 8. Now if I wanted to check it, I could also do it a different way. I can do 8 times 2 plus, what's going to be my second part, 6 times 2. If I do 8 times 2, that's going to be 16, plus 6 times 2 is going to be 12. When I add 16 plus 12, it's horizontal, I'm going to do it vertical on the side. Which gives me 28. Is 28 the number I'm looking for? Yes. Yes. So then I know my answer is correct. Perimeter is 28, I checked mm -hmm. it, so the letter M, the value of letter M is 8 centimeters. I'm going to switch colors on this one. You're going to help me a little bit more on this one. So I'm looking for number two. I'm looking for the perimeter of 40. So what's the first step I'm going to do? Raise your hand. Put the number of 40 feet in the middle. Great. I like what you said. Put 40 feet in the center. Okay. So perimeter is 40 feet. That's the first thing I know. What would be my next step? Carly? Add 11 plus 11. I'm going to add my knowns, which is 11, plus 11, which gives me what? 22. Add my ones first and my tens. What would be my next step? Melissa? 40, 40 minus 22. Okay, good. I'm going to subtract 40, which is my perimeter, from 22. Do I have to regroup? Yes. 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 I brought from what place value? From the no, tens. Good. I brought from my tens, so my zero becomes a? 10. 10. 10. 10. Good. 10 minus 8 is? Eight minus two. Oh, so I give you the answer. Ten minus two is eight. Ten minus two. And then two minus three? One. 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 Be careful. 18. So yeah, the whole number is eighteen. Once we're done with it. So what would be my next step? Hmm. Sorry. Two. Yeah, sure. You have the help. Um, eighteen divided by two. Two. Yeah, eighteen divided by two. 18 divided by 2. So 18 divided by 2, that means I could be counting by? 2. Two. 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 So I'm counting by 2's. What is it? 18. 8. 8. Nine. Did you say 9? 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 4. 6. 8. 10. 12. 14. 16. 18. So how much is that? 9. Nine. Nine. There you go, repeated addition, 9 plus 9 is 18. So the value of G is? Nine. 9. 9 feet. Another way I could solve it would be 11 times what? 11 times 2. So we said times 2, two. two. Plus, plus, I know G is 9, so it's going to be? 
Nine times two. Good. Nine times two. What's gonna see equal the perimeter? What's eleven times two? Eighteen. Eleven times two? Oh, twenty-two. Good job. Twenty-two plus nine times two. Eighteen. Eighteen. Now I'm gonna add it vertically, not horizontal. I'm gonna do it vertically. What's eight plus two? Forty. Eight plus two? Ten. You can hit me. Oh, I regroup. Yeah. Two plus Four. one plus one. Four. Yeah. So is my answer correct? Yes. 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 Mr. Jason, I'm looking. Did you Good job. Good job. Okay. Now I'm gonna flip one side over. And I'm going to give you a little bit of time. We have six minutes to work on number five. Okay? I just want you to do number five. When you're done with it, check your work before we do it together. Again, okay, just number five. And after we'll come back together as a group and check on it. And circle it. I only want you to do number five. I want you to make sure you label it. As you're doing that, I'll be walking around. The first thing I want to see is label it. Read the question, do not go to the answer first. I want you to read the question first carefully. Okay. Nagi has a mirror in the shape of a hexagon. He puts a frame around it that has a perimeter of 42 inches. What do I do with that number, 42 inches? Six, seven. Where do I put the perimeter? For very example, what, like? what do we do with the perimeter? Put in the center. Okay, so what are we doing here? There's truths in a strategy. Do you have to count the sides? Yes. 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 You have to know how many sides there are. That, that might be a hint. That's the yeah. part of the labeling. And that would be your next step. We did, we did some with only four sides, quadrilaterals. So now you're doing one with more than four sides. So it's a little, just a little challenging, but not too much. Good, I see something out good. You're, you're talking out loud, which is good. I'm gonna check that part again. I think you're doing mental math, but I want to see your steps. Good strategy. Okay, everybody looks up front. Okay. When I looked at the problem, first thing I had to do was read it. It says Nagi has a mirror in front of it in the shape of a hexagon. He puts a frame around it that has a perimeter of 42 inches. So first thing I have to do is know it has a perimeter of 42 inches. What do I do with that information? Well, um, Carlos? Put P24. 24? No, 42. 42. 42 inches. Very good. What's the next thing I could do? Count the sides. Count the sides. Good. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six sides. So now I have six sides and I know my total is 20, 42. Mm -hmm. What's the thing, next thing I can do? I saw several different ways of you guys working it. What's another way I can do it, Giovanni? Um, plus? If I add it, would my number get bigger? No. Would it get yes. bigger? Yes. 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 Do I want to add it? No. No. What could I do, Alex? Uh, for two divided by six. 
42 divided by 6. And 6 is the number of sides I have. That means I'm counting by what? 6. By 6. So when I count by 6, what would be my answer? Just missing. Or you can do like... Uh, first one, 7 times 6, or 8 times 6, 9 times 6, 6 times 6. 6 times 6? Are you doing side by side? Okay, I see what you're doing. You're doing one side at a time, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Or you can um, put um, like 7 times um, 7 if you... No, 7 times 6, and then um, put it... Um, Directly and then um, combine it. Same for vertically? Yeah. So what's 7 times 6? 31 times 42. 42. 42. Be careful, someone said 41. 42. So I have 7 times 6 is 42. Then 42 divided by 6 is? 7. 7. So what's going to be my answer? 7. 7. Seven. Does that make it pretty easy? Yes. Yeah. You use a time plus. You use a what? Times and so you're saying it's like the fact family? Yeah. Yeah, it's like the fact family. It's exactly what it is. A question? Yeah, I forgot people. Tell me a little bit about it. Oh yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so now when we do the next one, it's, I want you to do the next one now by yourself. Okay, awesome. This one doesn't have a what? If you look picture. at it, it doesn't have a picture, have a picture or a geometric shape. So what do you have to do, Carla? Like you have to draw your own picture. And it says Zena has a square picture frame with a perimeter of 28 inches. Which equation can she use to find the length of each side? What kind of picture am I going to draw? A square. 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 Good. I'm talking a square. When I draw a square, what am I going to put inside of it? Uh, the perimeter is 28. 28. 28. 28 inches. So I'm going to give you again five minutes to work on it. When the timer rings, we're going to go back to the board. So we'll discuss it together. Okay, go ahead and start. This one uses a different type of formula. Do you have to label your square? Yes. 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 Do you have to know how many sides it has? Yes. Yes. Four. Put you can do 28, you can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, to write all over that paper. Again, different strategies, which is good. But you're going to come up with the same answers, which is good. 24. Repeated addition, the way that works, good. 4 you race, but you race it, check it before you race it because you might be racing the right answer. That's a good strategy. That means you're counting by what? This so good? Yeah, try it. Don't erase it. Try it. She's counting by 7s, you're counting by 4s. Should you get the same answer? Back family? Back family? Yeah, you will. 
juice. Did you do it? Yeah. Sure, kids. Don't do mental math. Oh, it's cool.